Welcome to the Kingdom Business Forum, a program where we inspire believers in business to advance the kingdom through their business platform. I'm Vicki Norris. I'm Patrice Sage. Now I met Patrice when I went through his biblical entrepreneurship training curriculum, which personally transformed me and my business. Now I operate my company and my life with the kingdom in mind. That's why I'm passionate about helping you discover the power of kingdom principles for your business. Well, Patrice, it's January and it's Get Organized Month. And you drug me into some things. <laughs> and I'm loving it. And our audience is going to love me for it. You know, Vicki, first of all, I mean, uh, last week's show was incredible as you taught us how to, how to get organized spiritually first, how to real, realign. Uh, you, you wrote, you've written some books, um, Reclaim Your Life and Restoring Order to Your Home, that we're going to be, so we're going to be dealing with you today as an author. Because mm -hmm. um, we try uh, to interview a lot of kingdom business authors that, on our program that's right, that's and right. highlight what they're bringing to the body and how they're equipping people to think kingdom and do kingdom business. Now, tell me before, well, let me first highlight some things before we actually get, uh, you know, I want to make sure our listeners know beyond you co-hosting the uh, Kingdom Business Forum, uh, you're a national speaker, uh, so you speak around uh, on the, not only the subject of organizing, but the subject of, of marketplace ministry and various issues. Um, you're, you, you're a television personality. Uh, so this was not the first time that you actually won television. Um, <laughs> no, uh, you, no, you, for about ten years. Ten I've been years. Doing TV. <laughs> program design, product designers. You have some products that that you your own product line that you design with you along with your husband. Well, you design your husband built. Oh, how did that work? That's right. Um, so in two, well, in two thousand and four is when I first started doing mission organization on okay. on TV, and so we wanted to bring our product line to market concurrent with that launch. Mm. And so, um, and when I first met Trevor, it was two thousand and two thousand, and we were married in two thousand one. And so for three years, I was telling him, you know, my clients need a good product, and they don't have a good paper sorter, you know. So I'd kind of dream something up, and and then he would build it and wow. this process began when we were dating and they're really motivated when you're dating <laughs> so we got a lot of product development done then <laughs> you are a strategist you're a good businesswoman <laughs> i'm the visionary and he he has the talent of breathing life into things yeah uh, you know of course you you've also done some local television tv here in the poland region mm -hmm. area. northwest for many many years and then uh, better tv now, the, you also do a lot of consulting with businesses around organization. So, I mean, people yeah. think of organizing in terms of just uh, individuals, but you also work with businesses as well. Mm -hmm. And not just me. You know, I have a consulting firm called Restoring Order. Some That's of right. our uh, listeners and viewers may not know that, but that is sort of the, the life source of my company, Vicki mm -hmm. Norris's Restoring Order, is a consulting practice. And so our employees, our consultants, go into homes and businesses both. Wow. Now, and of course, you also teach biblical entrepreneurship. Now, we here at Dream Acres, mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to be here at Dream Acres for the entire month. Yep, our property, uh, Dream what Acres. What is Dream Acres? <laughs> well, Dream Acres is, we live out here in Sherwood, Oregon, my husband Trevor and I and our two boys, Nash and Brock. And uh, we have five acres of just beautiful pastoral land. Um, and it's our homestead, but it's also the international headquarters of Restoring Order. We have two conference facilities out here. We're in one of them now. Uh, we do trainings in this very room for anywhere between 15, 16 people or so. And then we have an event facility out in our barn, um, also known as the Party Barn. <laughs> and uh, we have uh, big events up to 100 people out there where we can do retreats and conferences and equip people with um, spiritual organizing skills, but also practical mm. organizing skills like paper management retreats. Mm. Those have been pretty popular lately. So um, Dream Acres is both our family uh, life and our business life all in one. Now, Vicki. These events here at Dream Acres, are they open to the public? Absolutely. Yep. So if people want to know how to, what, when things are happening at Dream Acres, where do they go? Mm -hmm. uh, RestoringOrder.com is our website. And we always put our upcoming activities out on our site, on our calendar. And it's a great way um, kind of for the do-it-yourselfer to come and, and get equipped uh, with both spiritual and business. What I love about what you do in terms of your workshop and seminars is that for, for those who cannot afford a, mm -hmm. a personal 
consultant mm -hmm. who to help them get organized. You now teach them how to do it themselves. So that, and you also yeah. have DVDs out now. Yeah, one can, of my business strategies has been to offer, um, I guess, resources for ordering your life, you know, from a twelve ninety nine book mm. to um, a ninety nine dollar DVD to a um, hundred and fifty dollar workshop or retreat um, up to hands on organizing services. Now, of course, most people need hands on help when they're really buried, right? <laughs> but sometimes they need to take baby steps and and get into the process. And of course, if people are here in Oregon, they can come to our events. Although at our last event, we had a woman fly in from Denver, Colorado, and wow. get a hotel and and just stay and and enjoy our retreat with us. So um, people nationally can access us, but we mm -hmm. do have the do-it-yourself as well as the hands-on help. Now, I'm assuming that some of the folks who come to your events are also clients That's who, right. while they're getting their hands-on organizing help, they're also learning so they can... That's right. Absolutely. Um, we have some clients who just want a refresher or they want to support what they're learning with their consultant. Um, certainly the DVDs um, are a great um, benefit in that too because then they could just, you know, anytime self-study from home. Now let's talk about the books. Now, first of all, Vicki, what led you to, to write these books? I know you earlier you talked about your desire to resource, but, but you know, you have Reclaim Your Life and mm -hmm. Restoring Order to Your Home. Which one mm -hmm. was first? Well, the very first book actually is called Restoring Order, Patrice. Period. Um, organizing Strategies to Reclaim Your Life. And both my books are published by Harvest House okay. Publishers, um, Christian publishing company in Eugene, Oregon. Really well known. Um, but then they later recovered this book and named it Reclaim Your Life. So it's the same book, it's just a different, um, different edition, I guess. And then my second book was Restoring Order to Your Home. Mm. So that was the room by room organization organizing guide. The first one is really about sort of breakthrough principles about why we haven't been able to get organized so far. Mm. How in the world did we get here? Mm. Uh, six principles for change, um, steps to get started. Mm. Um, and so, you know, I, I, the breakthrough book really is the first book and then it's a room by room guide in the second book. So from this basic book, you know, you, you talked about reclaiming your life and get organized for good. Of mm -hmm. course, that same book. Now, you know, one of the things you, you deal with this book is organizing truth, organizing principles, organizing strategies. Right. Let's start with organizing truth. What well, does yeah, that I'm mean? glad you brought that up. First, I want to go back to something that you said just a minute ago is, you know, how'd you begin to write? And actually, there was a prophetic word over my life. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever told you this. But many years ago, I think it was probably in 04, 05, someone said to me, Vicki, you are a book mm. and you will write. And I looked at her, my spirit just confirmed, and then I said, I know. I know I will. And next thing you know, um, I'm sitting um, at Harvest House Publishers. I was introduced to them from, um, from a gal I had recently met. And, and I'm sitting around the table with all these executives and the president of Harvest House. And I'm showing them my little mission organization videos. Wow. And next thing you know, I walk out with a two-book deal. Wow. I mean, really. So my point is, though, is that if you want to write, um, make sure that you're led to do so. Amen. Don't just mm -hmm. do it to have a product to sell. And mm -hmm. so I wanted to bring that forth is that even though I have strategically offered different you know, ways to consume ordering your life yeah. in my company, yeah. I really was led. I've always been led to write, and I have a lot more books in me. That's now, in terms of I'm writing, saying. Vicky, but you also, you also have a monthly uh, thing that you do. I have Could a monthly e-newsletter. Yeah, I have yeah. a monthly e-newsletter. It's called Restore. It's mm -hmm. free. And people can just sign up at restoringorder.com for it. And I write one heartfelt article every month, and it's on one topic, like align, mm. agree, mm. embrace, mm. restore, believe. What happens so, when you run out of one topic? Oh, I, <laughs> am I ever going to run out of <laughs> one topic? Trees? No. I don't think so. So that's the first thing I want to say is I was really spirit-led to write these. Um, and then secondly, what you just uh, uh, talked about was my first book and how it was organized. Mm. And I want you to know that it was organized that way for a reason. Mm. And it's off of um, a proverb, actually, um, which I just love. And I think it's so important. And it says, it's Proverbs 24, 3 through 4. Mm. By wisdom, a house is built, mm. which means wisdom has to come first. Mm. Through understanding, it is established. Mm. Through knowledge, its rooms are filled mm. with rare and beautiful treasures. And so I saw this pyramid when I was writing this book. Wow. And I began with foundational wisdom, which is why I start with organizing truths. Wow. How did we get here? What in the world happened? How do we get out of here? Because that's not how most organizing goes, right? Mm. You go to the checkout line, you see mm. the magazines. Mm. And what they want is order in a hurry in three simple steps. Now, and if I give you knowledge, but you don't have wisdom, it's not going to last. Yeah, oh, if, if it's going to be t very temporal. 
um, of course, you are listening or watching the Kingdom Business Forum, and you can always go to our, King, our Facebook fan page, Kingdom, Kingdom Facebook uh, Kingdom Business Forum. Vicky, said, how, how do you say ha, it? Facebook.com forward slash Kingdom Business Forum. You there can see this in many more interviews there. Now, Vicky, I want to kind of give our audience a, a kind of skim sense of the book. Let's start with organizing truth. Mm -hmm. Give me like a key truth that they can get out of that mm -hmm. first point, organizing truth. Well, one of the things I love in this, um, the first part, is is the disordered debt. Mm -hmm. And I go, I go through and I talk about how we handle organizing a lot like we handle debt, like we shift it you know, from one card to another, wow. we make the deferred payment, wow. you know, the interest only payment. <laughs> we do as little as we can, right? Wow. Just to keep our head above water. So we handle it a lot like we handle debt. Um, and then too, um, I love the, um, the chapter in this section called um, No Shortcuts to Order because wow. I go through six organizing mistakes mm. that we make and how to avoid them. The product panacea, the rearranging remedy, the cookie cutter, wow. the stashing solution, the tidying wow. trick. Um, all the different things. So we that deal we with do. the symptoms versus the real problem. That's exactly right. And then you get into mm -hmm. organizing principles. Mm -hmm. You know, what are some of the give us give a couple of couple. Well, there's six P's. There is the priority, process, pain, preparation, pruning, and possibility principle. Um, I think some of my favorites are obviously the priority principle. When yeah. you're disorganized, you're not living your priorities. Mm. You, in fact, you may be working on Z priorities instead of A priorities because mm. you're so buried, you're just doing whatever's in front of you, right? Mm. And you're not mm. living your full, the fullness that God intended for you, the abundant life. But then there's the pruning principle. Mm. And I love the pruning principle because it's straight out of scripture and it's it's, um, it's from John. It's from John 15, 1 through 2. And um, the scripture, I'm the true vine and my father mm. is the gardener. He mm. cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. While every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes mm. so that it will be even more fruitful. So mm. what I see about organizing, Patrice, is that it is a spiritual manifestation of a supernatural principle. And so what we find um, is that when you prune out things in your life, see, because you've heard purging, you know, yeah, you need to yeah. let go, just purge, just get rid of it dump it. I hate that phrase. It grates on me, makes my hair stand up. Purging doesn't do anything because next week you're going to have to do the same thing and get rid of more <laughs> stuff. Pruning is about, uh, if you think about it in the natural, it's about trimming back mm. so that things can be more fruitful. It's about ditching the dead wood, unclogging, and it's about restoring health and life and vitality and functionality and circulation and light to a living organism. Wow. So we can prune our environment and we can prune our calendar too. Girl, you are called, you, you are so poetic how you, you make organization seem so fun. You know what? I just have to tell you that that is exactly what Ken Blanchard said. Is that right? He yeah, said it's a let's poetic read book. Well, he Ken says said, it here. He said, well, it's on this book, Ken. Yeah, he says, Vicky Norris speaks poetically, poetically about the joy and freedom we experience when we finally achieve order. Don't miss this splendid book. And Ken uh, he's a well-known author, and of course, if he says it, it must be true. It must be true. <laughs> <laughs> Let's jump to, po I mean, I'm intrigued by po the possibility principle. What is mm -hmm. that? Okay, so one of my favorite quotes by Emily Dickinson is dwell in possibility. Mm. And I, I just also love um, the scripture that says, you know, for me, all things are possible. Mm. And that was one of our wedding scriptures because I just really believe that um, anything is possible for him who believes. It just is. And, and so when you are living in chaos and clutter and overwhelm and your business is out of control and you're not meeting opportunities um, in your business, leads are falling through your fingers, mm. Um, you know, what's happening is that you're not, you're not making the full, um, you're not taking advantage of all the possibilities that God has brought, God wow. has brought. Wow. And so you're, you're hindered. And so I love that scripture. You know, let us throw off everything that hinders and wow. the sin that so easily entangles. So Vicky, are you saying that being organized, properly aligned can unleash possibilities in my life? That is exactly what I'm saying. Wow. Now Vicky, and then you wrap it up with organizing strategies. Mm-hmm. Tell us about that. Well, you know, they w didn't want me to get away from this book by just, you know, telling you how, how bad off you are. <laughs> <laughs> that you would know, not be motivated. It's going to be a little bit painful <laughs> to get organized. So, um, you know, I share some strategies um, that we use in our consulting firm. So that's what's one thing that's different about my books, Patrice, is that they're vetted in real world experience. They're mm. not cliche tips and tricks. And in fact, I am a professional organizer. Many people who write organizing books, they're editors of <laughs> magazines. No, seriously. Is that right? And they have pretty pictures in them. So people buy the books wow. and they try to replicate a cookie 
cookie cutter solution. This is the real deal. <laughs> so uh, all the other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I share how to dig out and dig in, yeah. how to take an aerial view of your space. I got that from Trevor, actually, as a wow. pilot. When you take an aerial view, when you get mm -hmm. up above the 30,000 feet view, man, things really become clear. So mm. I show people um, really some spiritual principles about how to get started and, and the secret to maintenance. Let's go to the second book real quick before our time runs out here. Uh, restoring order to your home. Now, to your home. why this? Why this now? Now you kind of went from a broad you want the focus insider to... circle. You want the insider. <laughs> Here's the insider story. the The second book I wanted to write, yeah, was restoring order to your office. Uh -huh. I wanted to write a book for business people because, and especially women, I'm a business person. That's right. You know? That's right. But um, everybody has a home, and not everybody is in business. So the publisher right? felt so the that publisher the market felt, is broader. The market is broader. Let's do the home, and of course, um, you know, I'm very proud of this book because it is a pretty exhaustive study. And again, and we're still going to do the book on the home. It's that, I mean, the, on the business that that's going to come. That's coming. That's I told right. you, I got a lot of books in me. <laughs> Restoring order to your home is organizing that really works. What's the heart of organizing? How do you break through? And then I literally break the book into three parts. Mm public spaces, private spaces, and storage spaces, because you handle them all very differently. Now, so. the, but you actually start the book with organizing that really works. works. It's kind of building, you have this theme that goes, you, you almost kind of start well with the foundational things. I always start with the foundations, because I believe that that, that is biblical. Um, like we said before, God prepares an environment That's before right. he puts you into it. And so uh, one thing that we know, in fact, I use the, um, it's kind of funny, it's a book on your home, but the very first word picture I use in this book is about the military and how mm. when the military takes ground, what do they do? They stake their flag in the ground and mm. they hold the line. Mm. So part of organizing your physical environment is about taking back mm. lost territory mm. and then holding the line. Wow. N then you, st you go to public spaces. Mm -hmm. Now, first of all, what are the public spaces? How oh, public spaces are the ones where you, ha you have guests. You know, you'd be willing to let people come into your kitchen, your family room, your living room, your dining room. Your My playroom. wife will not let guests in unless her public spaces are, are, are clean. Really? Yeah, I, I organized. I mean, you know, she's very James particular. just came into my kitchen this morning. <laughs> <laughs> so, but this is an important place for people. I mean, most yep. people want their public, as a matter of fact, people. I tell people to start there because that's, is that you know, right? a lot of people are like Gina. Yeah. They don't want folks. Yeah. In fact, we but the, have. But the closet is dirty. And the, the bathroom is dirty. That's but. right. Private spaces include your bedroom, mm -hmm. bathroom, mm -hmm. your laundry room, your home office, and the hobby room. But, but let's stay with public space for a minute. What's so important about public spaces? And why do you think people are so keen about making them public spaces? Well, right. because I think intrinsically, Patrice, we know that our home is in some ways a reflection of us. Of us yeah. and, and it really, it's, a sympt it's, a symptom it's symptomatic of what's happening in our life. So if we have no margin in our life yeah. and we're constantly dropping and going, yeah. It's going to show up in our environment. And it cracks me up. People are like, what's a big organizing secret, Vicki? And I go, okay, here's a big one. You ready for this? We can't get organized at home because we're never home. <laughs> <laughs> See how that That's works? True. So you public spaces, wow. you want to feel like you can restore hospitality and mm and accessibility into your home. Now, then you get into private spaces, mm -hmm. and I'm going to ask you two questions here. First, is it hypocritical to have an organized public space and then have an organized private space? I think hypocritical might be too strong of a word. I mean, it's it's also like there's there it's like there's certain parts like seriously, do I don't invite you up to the master bedroom. I don't you invite not, you into my buddies. kids' bathroom. You know, I don't invite you. I mean, you know, I mean, you might if you were showing off a new paint, but most people don't invite folks into their That's very true. nuclear world, right? right? And so the private spaces are places like I'm recommending by organizing it this way. Yeah. When people are over they don't know where to begin. Wow, wow. So I'm saying, let's just, let's first start on your, your public mm. spaces, mm. then move to your private spaces, because when you reclaim that, what are you doing? Mm. You are reclaiming that your home is a refuge. Mm. And isn't it, because it's, when you start with public spaces, you, people affirm you, mm -hmm. and it makes you feel good, <laughs> which encourages you to work on the private spaces. Doesn't it not? Yeah, and I mean, <laughs> I think too, you have to really start wherever the Lord leads. I mean, mm -hmm. if you're really feeling like, because some people, seriously, they have a card table set up in their bedroom mm -hmm. because mom has no other place to operate. Dad mm -hmm. has the home office. Mm -hmm. The kids have taken over the entire house. Mom has a card table in the bedroom mm -hmm. and all of mom's stuff is literally on the floor in the bedroom. So if, if that's your greatest point of pain, 
Forget about there. public spaces. Start where it, it's giving you pain. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then you get to the storage spaces. Now, I thought storage were designed to be disorganized, but you're trying to do something <laughs> different. <laughs> Poor Gina. Gina, I'm coming over. Uh, no, storage spaces were not designed to be. Are you? You? I know. You, I got your number now, Patrice. You're, you're what we like to call the, you do the step and toss, right? You open up the garage, you step in, and you toss. Like That's me. That, I hate to admit it. Okay. So storage spaces obviously include the garage, the attic, the basement, the closets. And so um, storage spaces need to be purposed. Mm. And that's one of the principles I teach in here. And by the way, this Restoring Order to Your Home book, it builds on all the principles I introduced in the first book, Reclaim Your Life. Wow. So they are, um, it's a partnership between the wow. two books. You have to understand how to purpose your space, how to take an aerial view. Wow. So I reinforce all of that in the second book. Wow. Then you wrap it up, Vicky, with make room for living. Now, that's mm -hmm. an interesting conclusion. You kind of talked to us about public spaces, private spaces, storage spaces. Mm -hmm. And then, by the way, said this about storage spaces. So, so, so men, we have to organize our storage spaces. It's not, <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just a dump, you know. But then you say, make, tell us about that. What does that mean, make room for living? Make room for living. There's so much to it that I, I can't even cover it fully. But let me say this. When you walk through your door at home, and you see toys on the floor. Thank God that you have children mm. in your home mm. that left that sword and that Spider-Man toy. Mm. Thank God that you have dishes, that you have multiple dishes instead of one plastic bowl mm. that you're eating rice from in a foreign country. You know mm. what I mean? Mm. Thank God that you even have this. One of the reasons, Patrice, why we're so overwhelmed, which I think is very sad, is that here in America, we're actually overwhelmed and stressed out because we have too so much. So much, wow. That's profound. Wow. And so to me, order in your life isn't about getting caught up in making in this Martha Stewart home. It's about making room for the beauty of life mm -hmm. and being thankful for what you have and being hospitable and making people feel loved. I mean, isn't that what God does? You know, Vicki, I've never, somebody has never made organizing, organizing so fun to me. Mm -hmm. Do you do that intentionally? Or do you really believe it can be fun? <laughs> I mean, it's the marketing it's not, trigger. It's not smoke and mirrors. I really believe it. I've always been organized since I was a little girl. I've always loved to organize things. I would organize my granny's purse. In fact, my first book is dedicated my, in part to my granny, Grace, who let me wow. who let me get my start by organizing her dresser drawers and her purse. And and um, I've always loved it. But I, I see that there is spiritual payoff mm. and spiritual consequences if we're living in chaos. You know, Vicki, what I like about everything you shared today and even what you shared last week, you live it. You know, it's funny, even as you and I began the partnership for the, for the Kingdom Business Forum, the first thing you did was order. <laughs> That's right. I brought order and, out of chaos. Yeah, and so, <laughs> you know, uh, this, we look good because you organize it. You organize, even for your own show, even to produce, to, uh, interview you you've organized everything and and that's kind of it's not what you do it's who you are mm -hmm. um so as we prepare to close that's an here, important point for yeah. kingdom business people by yeah. the way patrice yeah. is that that's why you have to be spirit led with whatever you do i yeah. mean i love this because this is who god made me to be i'm mm -hmm. going to order environments i'm going to order teams i'm going to order businesses i'm going to order homes I'm going to order spreadsheets mm. because that's who God built me to be. And when I do that, I'm honoring and delighting in him. And you know what I love about that, Vicki? You do it with joy and you, you don't do it grudgingly. Because many people have a gift and a call. And why do I always have to when organizing everything? Mm. You follow me? Mm. But versus knowing that they walk in their call and their gift thing. Thank you so that's much. That's the kingdom. Righteousness, peace, and joy. Um, two books, Reclaim Your Life and Get Organized for Good, Restoring Order to Your Home. Uh, both books are by Vicki Norris. Um, you can, of course, visit her website at... RestoringOrder.com and get both books. You, uh, of course, there's a link at the, on, the, on our fan page with her link there. She has workshops here at, at, at Dream Acres that you can come and be a part of. 
This is just the beginning of what Vicki uh, does and can do for you. Vicki, why don't you uh, close us out, and thank you so much for allowing us to interview today. Oh, absolutely. Well, I just appreciate you tuning in today to the Kingdom Business Forum. We are in January, which is Get Organized Month, and we wanted to share with you a couple of resources um, that I happen to have put together, but also just to encourage you that both spiritual order and physical order are so important in the life of the kingdom person. It releases us to fulfill our true calling. So this is a means to an end. Don't get caught up in, in having it be um, everything just so. It really is a release. It's an equipping. And so, and that's what I'm here to do. That's what we're all here to do is use the gifts God's poured into us to equip others, to equip the body. So thank you for tuning in to the Kingdom Business Forum. You can find us at facebook.com, Kingdom Business Forum.